Hey, uh, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of Dunce Cap. Uh, this time, bringing it back around for number three of Not Safe for Work Hentai Edition. Um, and I got three different things, uh, three different series here to talk about with you. So uh, let's get right in, into her. And of course, hey, you know, I'm your host, SaudiFan16, Wolf Quig. Uh, so welcome all you YouTubers, Vicers, and internet users alike. Um, first, anyway, uh, first thing we'll get into, um, is a series I went ahead and picked up from Right Stuff, and it was, uh, real, I mean, they had them for like eight bucks, and it was volume one and two. Um, uh, hadn't seen it, I'd heard about it, um, so I figured, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Um, and that is, uh, Maids in Dream, one and two. Uh, so yeah, woohoo. Um, uh, each is only, like, a half hour, um, and it's got, like, an hour's worth of extras, or, which, I mean, just, it's actually really awful, like, the, the extra video stuff is, <laughs> is just awful, I mean, it's, it's, it just sucks, um, but, like, they have, like, trailers, like, a ton of trailers for a ton of series. So, that's actually I, what I found kind of plus is, is just, I mean, they had, you know, so many other series that you could watch trailers for to check out. So, it was like, you know, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So, so yeah. But, um, get right into it. Um, I didn't watch the sub. I watched the dub. I watched the dub. And more and more when I watch hentai and dub, it's just kind of like, the girls are just kind of like whatever, and then the dude is just like, I mean, the you know voice acting for a guy in a hentai is pretty easy and actually like sounds legitimate. While you know the the VA work for a girl in a hentai is just just sounds <laughs> just so cheesy and whatnot. So it's I mean just I get it. I just get a laugh out of it, whether it's good or not. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Um, the animation, uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's a, these are both 2006 series. So, uh, I guess, you know, as far as when it comes to the anime world, I mean, there are just some things where uh, uh, they show their age really fast as far as animation goes. And so, I mean, it's not bad, but, I mean, they're... It's certainly not anything special at all either. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, as far as everything, I mean, uh, the animation on the girls, though, I mean, isn't isn't bad though. It's I don't know. I find it almost substandard, sort of. It's it's kind of I don't know, I don't know exactly how to exactly go into more detail on it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of strange. It, I don't know. Um, uh, let's see, and so, uh, we got the character, uh, characters, or no, story, story, duh. Um, the story is just like, uh, you can't tell, I mean, you got the main guy, Akio, and he can't tell if he's, you know, in this dream world or if it's reality, and he's just stuck in the middle of nowhere or what, and he's lost his memories, and and I mean, just has no idea what the hell is all going on and there's like it's, it's not funny I mean I, I don't know. I thought that maybe there'd be some comedy to it there really isn't there's a couple of attempts but it really doesn't work out um, and it has just a serious feel to it but yet it's just like I can't take this serious um, so like I, I'm just kind of sitting there. And it's just like I don't know. Uh, the the whole time I was just sitting through it, just like something different gonna happen. I mean, is something gonna surprise me that'll entertain me more? Instead of just kind of sitting here watching it or what? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Then it takes forever in like each episode in order to get to a sex scene. Like it takes a while, especially in in volume one, in the disc in volume one. It takes a while. Like, you're more than halfway through the episode. You're like th two-thirds of the way through through it before you get to a section. And there's only like one. 
there, you know, at the end. And it's like, what's the point of it being a hentai if you're only going to get one scene in a half hour? Especially when it's the main guy and he's got like five or six girls. Six. Six girls being his maids or whatever. So it's just like, seriously? Really? And so it's just it's just kind of a bummer too because he doesn't even get with all of them. You know, by, by the end of volume two. Which is ridiculous. I mean, nothing is resolved. You find nothing out. And so the story is just... It sucks. I mean, it, I realize, you know, that given only two episodes and whatnot, like, stories in hentai don't really move all that far or anything like that, or have any development, period, but I was expecting something, and this, I mean, just nothing, I mean, just pretty much nothing for and, I mean, the characters, like, see, you got six girls, and you got Akio, the guy, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty general stuff, you got different types of girls, and then you got Akio, who's like, oh, I don't know what, you know, you know, he gets in these spells of then, like, punishing the girls, and, and he's like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to, you know, you know, punish them by, you know, having sex with them, or it's just, it's just like, uh, whatever, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, don't care, um, uh, I don't know if this is based on a game, or a erotic novel, or what, but, uh, my guess would would be that whatever the original source material is, it's probably a lot better. So there you go. That's my opinion on that. Even though I have not, you know, don't know. And so yeah. So um, that's basically what I gotta say from about you know Maids in Dream from Anime Erotic. Uh, <laughs> Anime Erotica, yeah. And it's not just Anime Erotica. It's also Adult Source Media and. Uh, talking about total hentai. And, uh, okay, I mean, there's just a bunch of things that I talk about on here. So, but I don't know. But at least the nice thing is for some of you who are kind of out and about. I mean, it's got um, a lot of you know subtitle languages in them. Or so. yeah, that's what I got on there. I'm kind of disappointed in the pickups, but lucky for me, they I didn't spend very much. So. Uh, no super big deal. Uh, let's see, another hentai pick, uh, one that I picked up, and this bad boy is actually 100 minutes on three episodes. So, uh, yeah. And that is Oh My Sex Goddess. You know, which, you know, kind of takes a funny turn on, uh, you know, Oh My Goddess. Um, and this bad boy is from Kitty Media. So, uh, you know, Kitty Media and, uh, uh, always licenses some pretty good stuff. I mean, and so uh, uh, let's see here. Um, didn't listen to this. Uh, watch the dub. Dub wasn't too bad actually. Uh, I, I think it worked out pretty good uh, for this uh, title. Um, let's see what else here. Um. I guess the animation, uh, the animation is actually pretty good, uh, for it, it's a, uh, uh license 2010 for Kitty Media, so I'm not exactly sh I'm not seeing on here when it was done, so I'm not exactly sure, I mean, because I had heard about this before, but I'm not exactly sure, uh, when it was done otherwise, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I mean, the animation uh, worked out fine. Uh, you know, and does does a pretty good job. And of course, it's I mean, much like Maids and Dream, uh, it is uncensored. Um, for those of you who like me are worried about that, I certainly don't like it when, especially something like porn, you know, hentai or whatever is censored. Then I mean, that's just stupid. You know, you gotta be 18 plus anyways, so like, just don't mess with it. You know, why, why even make it that way? It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, so the story is, you know, okay, Kosuke, uh, he's a college guy, has this nightmare of becoming a rampaging sex demon. Um, so these angels come, 
and they kill him and then use part of their life force to save him um, and then just try to keep an eye on him so that way you know uh, uh, demons come and then also um, they they figured out that uh, they have sex with him when he starts showing signs then uh, like they're able to suppress his desires or whatever and not allow the demon uh, to come out that's inside him or whatever uh, and then you got you know then there's this demon that tries to foil their plans and whatever and uh, you know I mean so I mean there there is com some comedy and silliness but uh, personally I was actually a bit dis I thought it would be funnier actually um, and I thought there would be just a little more I don't know, just a little more personality to to it. I mean, uh, there was some, but not as much as what I thought. Um, and uh, personally, I also thought uh, all the sex scenes were actually rather short. I mean, there were a number of them, yes. But uh, to me, they were all, like, shorter than usual. I know there's usually, I mean, they're usually pretty short, but um, the ones in this series just seem kind of shorter than usual. And, I mean, there's, like, four girls. Um... He doesn't even end up getting with one of them. And another one he only got with like once. Or no, two of them he only got with once. So mo most most of the scenes are just with the same girl, which also kind of sucks. I, I, you know, if you're going to have something like this with a lot of girls, it, it needs to be a variety. You know, uh, yeah, he can have, you know, the main girl that he, you know, does have sex with most, you know, the most, but... You still need a nice variety in there if you're going to go with this. So, And once again, not sure exactly what it's based on. Probably just, you know, some, you know, doujinshi or, or an eroge or something like that. And so, I mean, it's not bad. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, that's about all I got. So, I think I... What did I get this for? I think I got it for 15 so, I mean, in generally about $15 is going to be, like, my limit on what I spend on an individual uh, hentai. Uh, so, because uh, I try to, you know, keep it keep it down. Of course, then again, there's a lot of stuff that I enjoy that aren't licensed. So, yeah. um, But, I mean, it's not bad. Um, like I say, I wish it was funnier. But, like I say, I mean, it's, I guess it's a reasonable compliment for uh, a hentai collection. Uh, so... There you go. Okay. Um, last but now certainly not least is um, a uh, hentai mega that I got from uh, Amazon. Went ahead and picked up. It just you know came out this year or last year or whatever. And so uh, and it's, the story is three volumes long. It might actually end up going longer. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't quite remember how volume three ended, but uh, it is a pretty funny and nice little story. <laughs> it, yes, it's just one story, obviously. Uh, um, and it's got some really nice scenes, and it's uncensored. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and that is um, A Strange Kind of Woman uh, by Inu. Uh, of course, I know the series as Hatsu Inu. Um, and it's from uh, Manga Erotica. And this is volume one, like say, as before, when I showed you when I purchased it, I cannot show you the front, but I can show you the back, so we'll do. And I can't really show you much. There are not many scenes that don't have nakedness. I mean, um, the drawing isn't, like, super detailed, but, I mean, it's, it's on the cute side. It's on the sort of moe cute side. But, um, not like so much so where you're just like, uh, really? Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's got funniness and, uh, it's got some enjoyable characters, um, especially, uh, the main girl here, uh, Shion, um, she's, like, really quiet and doesn't talk much at all. She basically speaks <laughs> through her actions. <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous um, and uh, it's not a harem but it is like one guy with two girls uh, going after him uh, is basically the story and he ends up in this volume like losing his memory and then you know so for quite a bit of the story he 
you know, he hit his head, and so he lost his memory, and so then the girls are fighting over him on who is his girlfriend. Uh, yeah, and so, uh, because the other girl, she's really into science, and she almost <laughs> almost killed him, like, a while ago, and then she kind of quit coming to school because she was working on a, uh, like, some secret aphrodisiac love potion formula deal, and it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, and so, yeah, but, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's another fun one uh, that I enjoy. I mean, the paper, I think the paper quality is really fantastic. I mean, just the overall quality of the entire volume. Um, I really like it. It's really nice. Uh, and yeah, it's got some nice little flip. I can't show you the flip, but uh, I can show you this flip here, uh, this one. But, like, uh, it's got that on each side. And, of course, it's, you know, you read in traditional style of like this. So, and there's a lot of uh, color uh, pages in here, and plus at the, uh, at the end, there's like four little, uh, short stories, um, done by different authors and artists, uh, so there's a lot of, um, nice extra material in, in this, uh, along with not just the story itself, um, so overall, especially on the package, I really like this, um, and it's quite enjoyable, um, so I look forward to hopefully further vol like volumes two and three at the very least um, being um, licensed here at some point um, because they still haven't been. I don't I don't know what kind of time frame those things are on because like I say I'm still waiting on uh, volume two to dominate me uh, to uh, or in Japan it's take on me but um, I'm waiting for volume two of that to be licensed so I can have that because it's it's absolutely one of my one of my most favorite uh, head time I guess and so uh, I really want it because I have volume one right down here so but um anywho uh, that's what I got for you um, basically out of what I have um, if you're a hentai fan and enjoy things really um, of what I picked up this is the only surefire um, see purchase that I suggest and like I said that's um, a strange kind of woman and you can find it, you can find it on Right Stuff and Amazon. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's around like twelve, fifteen bucks, something like that. It's actually like really uh, reasonably priced, which is fantastic. So uh, there you go on that, and that's what I have. So um, be sure to uh, let me know what you think um, on my purchases and what I had to say. I know I was all over the place and really sloppy on what I had to say, but really. Um, it's been also been a while since I watched those, so I, if it, they were more fresh in my memory, I might have more to say. But um, time frame wise, you know, I, once I watch something, I can't get around to watching it again. It's just uh, I got too much other stuff I got to do or want to do and going on. So yeah, so take it as it is. Um, yeah, and uh, just kind of let me know uh, what y'all think. Um, like I say, you can find me here on YouTube. Uh, as uh, Saudi Fan 16 on Anime Vice as Saudi Fan 16, you can go over to Form Spring and ask me questions uh, as uh, user Saudi Fan 16, um, and then of course you know you can find me on Twitter as uh, at b i l d o underscore 88. Um, other than that, you know, um, yeah, like, subscribe, share, comment, favorite whatever you feel like doing with this. So, uh, hey, SideFan16 signing off. Peace.